good morning class i welcome you all to yet another session of online classes today let us continue explaining the ninth lesson of english hari sekal text called what happened to the reptile if you remember yesterday we started this lesson and in the beginning as lesson progress we got to understand that the narrator of the lesson ravi had to flee his village right ravi had to what flee his village what is the meaning of the word flee flee means to run to run away in order to save his life clear why did ravi run away as he narrated his story to the old man who was nursing him when he was in pambupatti we got to know that there was some sort of riot or problem going on in his village which forced him to run away as people of different faiths were fighting over burning down of a mosque or temple which was not m- mentioned specifically right so due to this what happened was yeah due to this ravi had to save his life okay and run away and in doing so you know he had to walk a great deal he had to take up train and all and then in this ordeal of his ordeal means a difficult journey of his what happened is he was extremely tired and injured and as soon as he reached pambupatti he was welcomed and nursed right then ravi while speaking to the old man asked you know this village where he had reached by the name pambupatti looked quite different from the village he lived in he told the man categorically that in his village it appeared that people were ready to kill each other and they were you know always in a mood to fight against one another while in the place where he was now what ravi said was you know things seem quite different things seem quite different because no one was trying to fight and they lived quite peacefully as if everything was perfect and he thought he could not believe so so to this the old man said do not worry ravi i'm going to tell you one story it will bring a lot of peace to you and i want you to go back to your village and share this incident in order to bring more peace to your village as well so saying this he started narrating the story about different kind of reptiles living in the forest adjoining pambupatti right it was all ruled by reptiles of different kind ranging from crocodile to snakes to these to that and then which creatures were most powerful there the crocs or the crocodiles right among them was one very powerful crocodile by the name makara they used to sit for meetings and all right so in one such meeting what happened makara sent a letter to to tortoise and their group right telling them that they were no longer required to attend the meeting okay so it offended the oldest tortoise by the name ahiste he was not happy after hearing this but what could he do because the other reptiles were too many in number and as a result they could not fight they could not simply mutter the courage to put up a fight and all now what will happen next let us read to understand okay so let's see what do we have here okay just give me a moment we all did this yesterday right so now let's start here we are i'll read and explain segment wise clear so before the meeting we are here for your convenience you can open your book and keep it by side before the meeting the giant makara polished his teeth with the red flowers of the tree by the river till they sparkle so he was doing his own preparation for the meeting he was shining his own teeth with what 
with red flowers that bloom by the river side okay his teeth were sparkling shining very br- brightly okay everyone was waiting for him at the meeting place so he seemed to be a person of importance because everyone was waiting for his arrival at the meeting all the other members had already been waiting there for him okay so he'll begin he says brothers and sisters he began all the reptiles even the beautiful king cobra stopped talking clear when he started speaking even king cobra which is considered magnificent and strong stopped speaking makara continued his speech i have decided that we don't need the tortoise so very bad move on his part clear he went on to say that he had decided that the tortoise were no longer required he said so let's continue reading i have told them not to come today brothers and sisters can you tell me why we don't like the tortoises so he was imposing his decision upon others without even taking into consideration what other felt because he was strong and powerful maybe people will get influenced but he was trying to prove a wrong point right what will happen next let's find out give me a moment the reptiles look this way and that we are here clear the reptiles look this way and that they felt very uncomfortable the snake hissed anxiously anxious means the snakes hissed but in the way they hissed there was tension they looked worried the lizards wriggled their tails the lizards were moving their tails to and fro whenever they do this it shows they are not comfortable okay the crocodiles opened their jaws even wider clear yeah. so the crocodiles kept opening their jaws after hearing this okay now what will happen let's find out but said one little lizard so one little lizard spoke up clear yeah. he just said but now what will happen no buts shouted makara there was silence so since he was strong and big he kind of bullied them he said no buts i think said a baby crocodile a baby crocodile try to speak up by saying i think no i thinks scream makara so makara screamed and shouted at the top of his voice saying no i thinks so he said it so loudly that the fruit in the tree above him rained down clear so the, uh, the writer is trying to you know make you understand the impact of his shout it was so loud that let's say there was a tree and it was laden with fruit once he shouted all this fruit started what falling down one by one clear after that no one had the courage to speak at all nobody spoke anything at okay. all after that clear nobody <coughs> makara cleared his throat and showed a few more teeth makara was trying to intimidate trying to uh, scare away the other animals he cleared his throat and showed a few more teeth well he said i will tell you why we don't like the tortoise he began they are so slow so stupid they even carry their houses on their backs who ever heard of such stupid thing now you lizards you live in trees would you ever carry a tree on your back would you he was trying to make his own foolish comparison he was trying to compare one an animal with another by saying you know that uh, the tortoise as the tortoises are slow and lazy creature and they carry their homes by their homes he was referring to the shell of the tortoise they have their strong shell on their back right which protects them from danger and so many other things so he was referring to the shell by saying that you know this foolish creature they carry the shell and to make up his point brighter he pointed out to the lizard saying you all live in tree right do you carry trees on your back just imagine imagine is it possible for a lizard to be carrying tree on their back that's impossible right so he was trying to impose his power upon them in a forceful manner okay 
small frightened frightened means ki small frightened voices answered together so they say no we wouldn't but there was there were birds always it shows the other animals were not totally into the decision makara was about to take they were not happy about it clear so what will happen next let's find out by reading the following pair no buts now listen i've told the tortoises that they will have to move out of pambupatti when they go we will have more of everything more food more water more space i want them out by tomorrow but because they are such slow coaches and slow walkers clear i've given them one week by next tuesday we won't have a single tortoise left in the jungle declared makara you know so this is a bad move because with animals or humans we have to live in harmony we have to live together and we should not judge people based on the way they work move or whether or not we should not judge others based on their looks the way they work and so on clear we have to live in peace and harmony loving respecting and helping one another in order to create a society which is wonderful for everyone okay so he declared that by next tuesday the jungle or the forest will be free of protoises okay so now let's read and understand what happens and by the following tuesday they were all gone all the tortoises had already left at first the animals were sad but then they realized that what makara had said was true in the beginning everyone was sad but slowly they realized that the words were makara the words of makara were true but it would be turning out into a moment of bitterness something that will hold a better future for everyone clear how and in what manner let's see there was more food more water and more space for them but soon a strange smell began to fill the forest but like i said it accompanied a problem alongside a strange smell filled the entire forest it was smell of rot what do you mean by rot when something gets decayed or decomposes it produces a very foul smell that is called smell of rot it was smell of fruits rotting on the ground and animals rotting in the river clear so this was creating a pungent a very bad smell in the whole of the forest this was what the tortoises used to eat now that is why the forest used to remain very clean because the tortoises used to eat these things now there is nobody to look after this to eat or clear the forest of this and as a reason the forest is filled with stink okay and even makara had to go about holding his nose with his big claws and the mak- and makara who had chased the tortoise out of the forest had to you know close his nose while passing by this area so he was also facing wrath of the situation he created okay so month passed by and then the same thing happened so one month passed by somehow and then the same thing happened all over again but this time it was the snakes only the animals had changed it was the snakes this time makara rot them one of his letters they were to leave the forest and since they could move fast they had to go in a day very best on the part of makara right he was targeting animals and their group one after another so the fresh target on his part were the snakes were the fresh targets the snakes he wrote them a letter and told them to clear the forest by giving them just one day's time on the pretext that they could they were fast movers clear do you think it's fair it's totally unfair and brutal right naga the head of the snakes pleaded for more time but makara would not give in at the meeting he silenced others the lizards and crocodile with even louder shouts and threats clear so makara 
sorry naga the head of the snake requested that more time be given for them to settle down and you know the other reptiles the lizards and the crocodiles were trying to speak in favor of naga but makara as usual he shouted with loud shout and started threatening and giving warning to each other and what did he say snakes are slimy slippery and they make funny noises do you think it's good enough reason to throw someone out of uh, the forest just because snakes are slippery and then they make this hissing sound is it good enough a reason to throw someone out of their house not at all right uh, we cannot hate dislike or chase someone away or out of a place just because they are slippery or they sound different that happens it applies for humans also clear we have to be loving and respect clear so he said who wants such weird creature around he declared nobody wants such weird creature around again no one dared to disagree with makara willingly or unwillingly they had to agree so all the snacks left too now isn't it but now for a while the animals of the forest were happy because they had been a little afraid of the snacks for sometimes the animals were happy simply because they were little scared of the snack why let's find out you see you never know when one of the one of them might lose his temper and spit some venom at you and it took only a little poison to kill you after all so they were afraid somewhat because snacks are temperamental and by mistake if they lose out their temper and bite one of the animals you know they might die out of poison venom means poison right so by thinking of this reason they were getting bit uh, what do you call it happy but it did not that too did not won't last long there will be repercussions there will be problem to this as well what and what challenges will the forest years face now let's read the following paragraph and find out okay yeah and the following paragraph will get to know that the lizards were also ordered to leave and the whole forest now belonged to makara and his group okay only one species were was trying to rule the forest do you think they can live happily not at all we require people similarly animals also live in group clear if only one community or group tries to win over or create superiority over others that does not happen we have to live by respecting supporting loving one another as a community similar thing applies in case of animals also we are interdependent okay so since they will chase down everyone the crocodiles will face unforeseen problem problems that they had never seen before clear because there will be many reptiles who will leave the forest who would be rather forced to leave the forest they soon realized that their happiness lay in the fellow creatures so they'll realize that you know happiness lies in living together and they'll call back all the creatures they had chased out so see if you take a look at the picture they don't seem happy right what creature is this figure it out isn't it so let's read the following parana hmm? a few weeks passed and the animals of the forest looked tired and fed up okay the rats the new problem was the rats now that there were no snacks to eat them the rats had taken over the forest there were no snacks now the rats were behaving like they were the king of the jungle because they were no other animal who would eat them and they were having wonderful time they were everywhere on the trees in the grass in the bushes on the ground they ate up the eggs of the lizards and the crocodile clear so the snacks the rats were out of control altogether they had kind of taken over the forest they used to live on the trees in the grass they were seen in the bushes and also on the ground and they raised one level up by eating the eggs of the lizard and the crocodiles okay 
there would there would be no babies that year there would be no babies that year so the rats were so ravage ravaging that year that they ate almost every egg of the lizards and crocodile that not a single baby was born that year clear they were into another level of gluttony altogether magara's own nest of eggs had been chewed up <laughs> so see we in english there is a saying tit for tat right so makara's own net containing lots of eggs were completely chewed up by the rats okay they were running ravage rampaging the forest now then makara had a great idea makara thought of it he called a meeting of the crocodiles and said okay there was a meeting again won't it be wonderful if we the crocodiles could have the whole jungle for ourselves very evilish devilish idea this is a bad bad idea creeping into the head of makara so he decided and had called a meeting of the crocodile by calling that you know i think it's going to be a wonderful uh, thing if we could have the entire forest all by ourselves what do you think is it good i don't think so he said no one but us this lizards now just look at them they have the strangest habits he was making points to drive out everyone now the fresh targets were lizards okay he said lizards they have strange habits and some of them even change color <laughs> so he was giving odd reason clear lizards they have strange habit and then they change color he saying how can we trust someone who's green one minute and red the next let's get rid of them so he said ah oh, we cannot change we cannot trust animals who change their color one moment a lizard is green in color the next moment you see them red so oh, i am not trusting them and i want them clear let's rule the forest all over is what the makara said okay so by now the crocodiles were really scared of makara they could not mutter courage to speak anything against makara all the crocodiles were that scared of makar okay so they clapped and cheered as if it was a very happy decision see when one important person makes announcement what do we do if you have uh, gathered uh, you must have seen tv programs and all right people clap and they somehow endorse it by cheering right so same thing happened makara was pleased he was very happy pleased means happy the lizards as usual after his announcement they left the forest some with their babies on their backs so some of them they had to carry their babies on their backs it was very difficult for them clear but but now when life should have been wonderful for the crocodiles of so seemingly now life should have should be absolutely fine for the crocodile there should be no problem at all as suggested by mr makara right but now the mothers of all problem would face them what let's find out when life should have been wonderful for the crocodiles of pambupatti all kinds of awful bad sad things began to happen to begin with the rats grew bolder by the day so the rats were bolder bolder means brave they became brave okay they were not caring big animal they became so fearless that they jumped and turned somersaults on the crocodile's back you know somersault right that's like diving 360 degree or a full round on your back okay i'm standing back on your feet just consider this is you if you somersault what would you do you'll go flip 360 degree okay and then land back in the same position you started here full round and then landing back in the same position that is called somersault okay so now the rats had become so fearless that they were performing the somersault on the backs of the crocodile can you imagine this and there were too many frogs not only this there were too many frogs because snacks had all gone okay 
they seemed to grow to be grown larger and there was no one to eat them but the crocodiles so there was no animal who would now eat the frogs or the rats and that is why they had in a way taken over the jungle okay because there was only one reptile and they were the crocodiles clear this huge frogs began to eat baby crocodiles so a huge forest also crept up from here and there and now they were so uh, what do you call it fierce by nature that they started munching on baby crocodiles okay and the insects more problem insects now that the lizards were gone there were millions of them growing bigger and nastier by the day they there were so many insects they were growing bigger and bigger and they were getting worse for this crocodile so it was some kind of living nightmare for the crocodiles okay it was terrible time for the crocodiles they couldn't understand what had happened to the forest happy forest home what do you think had happened they had broken the balance of the forest right everything runs with a particular balance now if you try to throw things off balance problems will certainly occur and that is what had happened here all right so let's continue reading now then one day a squeaky little voice piped up at one of the meetings so one more meeting was held when things were getting out of control and it was like living in hell for everyone a meeting was held and a little voice came out of nowhere so what would it express let's find out we know why the forest has gone crazy don't we so this voice says you know we know the reason why forest is in such a pathetic condition now don't we is what he said clear what does he know let's find out okay suddenly everyone was silent they looked at makara fearfully but to their surprise he looked nervous clear for the first time somebody had muttered the courage to speak up but then the crocodile thought makara would be angry now and then he might even go on to the extent of punishing him but at this point of time when they looked at makara he looked nervous he shook a rat of his tail a rat was rampaging on his tail again probably performing somersault so he shook a rat of his tail and asked the small crocodile why little fellow he was asking why do you think it is the way you are saying you are telling me that the forest has grown crazy can you give me a reason why do you think so it all began with the tot he started speaking it all began with the tot okay okay said makara he did not even allow him to complete there is no need to talk so much makara didn't want to admit he was wrong clear when the little one was trying to express himself he just shut him he said no oh, there is no need to talk so much because he did not have the courage to admit he was wrong but it didn't matter all the crocodiles knew that he was not all that strong or powerful because now the crocodile there was a sense of rebellion they could no longer be a this tyranny okay and they had also realized that he was not as strong as he pretended to be and we already know that union is strength right that formula is what they are going to apply now so he was not always strong or powerful oh he could not be right all the time right so they sent urgent messages what did the crocodile do all the other crocodile they gathered and then they would take things in their own hand now clear they won't allow makara to take over so they sent urgent messages all over the place for the tortoises snacks and lizards to come back to pambupatti so what did they do they sent messages they circulated messages all over 
and then they invited all the animals to come back to Pambupati. And what a great day it was when the creatures came back, family after family, with their little ones on their backs, straggling behind, shouting at their parents to wait for them. So the parents were so excited, they were running back to their homes. See, home is such a wonderful place. Like, just imagine, if somebody drives you away or out of your house, it's, it, it is, there is nothing, there would be nothing as painful as that. So when the animals were called back, they were so happy, they were so excited, they came running with their little ones behind them. See, here is a picture. Everyone was running, everyone is running back with the animal, with uh, their little ones on their back, right? They look so excited and happy. The babies, some of the babies are crawling back. They are progressing fast towards the forest because they had been messaged. Who messaged them? The other crocodile. Because they did not like the way forest was turning out to be, isn't it? So now there will be a happy reunion. So let's find out now. In two months, the forest was back to normal. Since all the animals were back, the forest was back to normal in two months' time. The rats disappeared and the insects and the smell and the world finally went back to familiar old self. So it was wonderful. Great things were happening because the other animals who assigned certain duty had come up and it took two months' time for the forest to get back to normal. Okay. So that is the end of the story. So we can learn a great deal of thing from this story. One, living harmony. Two, stop hurting, spread love, live in peace, look for development, community development, not just self-development. Always look forward to helping and caring. Look out for each other. That's what we learn. Clear? Now let's get back to the old man and pray. See, well, pray, say the old man. Have you fallen asleep? Did my story send you off the dreamland? I said, Prem, are you, are you dreaming? I shook my head. So Prem shook his head. No, grandfather. I was just thinking, maybe it's time I went back to my village because I have a story to tell them. But what if they don't listen to me? So Prem was now very inspired. He wanted to go back to the village and share the story with them. But he was also doubting, you know, what if they don't listen to him? So what would the old man say? We can only keep it, keep at it, my son. He said, we can keep trying. Tell the stories again and again to more and more people. Some of them may laugh, laugh at you or say your stories are not true. But they may remember them one day and understand that each of us has a place in this strange, funny world of ours. Clear? Each of us has a place and as community, we do not have right to claim superiority over other. Okay? So with this, we come to conclusion of explanation of lesson number what? 9. Right? Ninth lesson of English course book text. Now, we let us also discuss the question and answer pertaining to this uh, lesson. I'll only discuss, clear? And if you think you still have doubts, I'll provide you the note. But I would love you to try them on your own. I would want you rather. There are only seven questions, right? So it's not a big deal, I guess. Yeah. Can you do them on your own? I hope so. Class, you are well, yeah, what I was saying is you are well aware of the fact that I always endorse you making question and answers on your own. So I've just prepared a summary. I'll just read them out for you. What you have to do is make the question and answers on your own. If you still think you have a problem, I'll help you. Okay, let's quickly discuss them. Let's take a look at what do we have. First question is, in what way is Pambupati different from any other village? It's simple. People in Pambupati lived peacefully as they did not fight or get involved in communal riots at all. In the name of religion or language. So this proved that Pambupati was not like any other village, but entirely or absolutely different from anything and everything that we 
often come across right so again why is prem determined not to return to his village what did he not uh, want to return to his village see prem was determined not to return because communal riots of hate and violence was happening in his village he and other, his other he and the other villagers living in his village felt that it was no more safe means it was unsafe for them to live in his village because houses were getting burned right and people were killing one another there was communal violence isn't it why did makara dislike toto snacks and lizards right line about it see it's very simple i don't even want to discuss it toto is as we slow snacks used to he is and these and that so you have to do it on your own so what went wrong when the toto is snacks and lizards left the forest a lot of thing went wrong right so when the toto is snacks and lizard it was going through a tough phase isn't it forest was filled with rotting smell of fruits and animals due to absence of toto is once snaf- uh, snakes left what happened it was taken over by the rats so when finally as a result of this what happened the insects grew bigger and multiplied in millions due to absence of lizards right fifth why do you think prem want to tell the story of the reptiles to the people of his village this also you can do it on your own still if you have problem you can discuss it with me because he wanted them to encourage and tell them that life is much bigger than hate and violence right do you agree that it is difficult not to go along with someone who is very strong and powerful express your views and so this is your personal you may say yes or no see sometime yes sometimes see on a general note common people are peace loving they are weak and they tend to submit over issues which uh, where they have to confront right most of them do have fear of strong and powerful people due to their tyranny and unjust exercise of authority okay it is an obvious human nature of ordinary people to adhere to the interest of strong lot in order to maintain their own safety and so you can write this on your own so when if you are a baby crocodile would you tell makara that he was strong i'll say absolutely i'll absolutely tell him that he was wrong in order to convince him also he made a mess of the forest by chasing away the, the other animal who had specific roles and functionality i would also highlight the importance of other creature this and that so this also you have to make on your own clear so class with this we come to conclusion of today's uh, uh, lessons explanation if there is any important word meaning or if any word is troubling you find it out in the dictionary list them down in your notebook and try to summarize the lesson all together make the question answers on your own let's wind up this class today it was wonderful to be sharing knowledge of my ex- knowledge of this lesson with you all thanks everyone for being part of today's class thank you